friends right now we are in the krishna temple of hampi karnataka and today we are going to show you something very special in this temple carving to be precise hampi was one of the richest cities in the world in the 14th century the temple here are quite grand offering us a glimpse of the glory of that time later the muslim invaders caused significant damage to this city its temples and sculptures despite that even today The temples here are renowned worldwide for their artistry and beauty but there are some carvings in this Krishna temple of Hampi that are incomplete like the Narsimha carving you see here it's incomplete look at the lower part it seems like it was left unfinished midway but why why is there an incomplete carving in this Krishna temple one of the main temple in Hampi This temple was built by King Krishna Dev Raya to celebrate his victory over the Gajapati ruler of Odisha. He brought the idol of Lord Krishna from there to this place. So, for the idol that symbolizes his triumph, he erected this magnificent temple. But then, how can a temple which stand as a testament to a significant victory have an unfinished carving? That's the biggest question. Looking at the roof of this temple, it appears quite sturdy. constructed with large stone plates supported by massive pillars made of stones in hinduism we can observe a very significant muruga symbol which is formed in a hexagonal shape this hexagon is also known as shatkona yantra and mrutyunjay yantra this symbol in a way represent the fusion of shiva and shakti and is a symbol of energy The western world has also adopted this symbol and it is referred as the star of david in judaism Now moving on the carving you see here there is a high chance that this carving represent goddess gauri Gauri is a hindu deity believed to be the mother of the entire universe she is also referred to as the fertility goddess and through carving like this The process of childbirth is depicted in many temples. Before you wonder why the worship of such a goddess is prevalent in Hinduism, let me tell you that the worship of this deity is not exclusive to India. Even in ancient Egyptian civilization and Irish culture, there was a tradition of worshiping a similar goddess. Now, right behind this pillar, coming to the carving I am about to show you. it reveals an interesting aspects of indian society in the 15th century in this carving we see a depiction of a man holding a drum like musical instrument this carving shows a woman playing the drum indicating that women at that time were actively involved in a music and entertainment it's fascinating to see women at that time proficient in various instruments and arts unlike today where the music and instrument playing businesses is predominantly male centric during that era women were equal participants in music and dance which i think highlighted gender equality in society Adjacent to the woman playing the drum there is a carving of a large horse like creature called yali Yali is a mythological creature symbolizing strength crafted in several temples across Karnataka just like the dragon in Chinese culture this mythological animal resembles that but the carving showcases incredible creativity the head body and nails resembles a lion the mane is like a horse and at the bottom you can even see a crocodile The ceiling of this temple especially the border displays complex architecture with intricate design highlighting the exceptional skills of the artists looking closely at the thin strip of stone between two perfectly square shaped designs 
it's evident that even a slight mistake in this carving would render the entire effort useless. The flawless execution of these carvings seamlessly fitting the lower part first and then aligning with the upper part shows us the artist's precision and dedication. As shown earlier with the incomplete carving of Narsimha, there are many carvings of Lord Narsimha throughout this temple, including a complete carving depicting the slaying of the demon Hiranyakashyap. Therefore, it is clear that these carvings are associated with Lord Narsimha and the artist may have faced difficulties or had a specific reason for leaving it incomplete. There are also many other intriguing carvings in the temple which I will cover in another interesting episode. It's not just the carving, even the pillar with beautifully carved sculpture on one side is left plain on the other side without any apparent reason. What do you think might be the reason behind this? We would love to know about your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. I am Sumit and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.